So around seven months ago, I made a tutorial on how to make name-dependent textures on Minecraft. And um, it's been quite a while, and I feel like I need to make an updated version that's way, way more clearer than everything that I've been doing. So today I'm going to be giving you the second tutorial, a more updated version of how to make name-dependent textures. And it's as simple, I'm just trying to clear up any confusion. So I'm going to be using the same exact image editor that I used to use. Uh, it's more just a Minecraft image editor. It's right, it's minecraft.novaskin.me slash resource packs. This right here would be the link. You can also just search it up, and it's pretty simple. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into whatever. Today we're going to be going into items, and these are all the items in Minecraft, literally every single one of them, but it's an older version, so you're not going to find things like another red sword, but that's fine. So whatever item, right, we're just going to take, like, a diamond sword. You can search it in, and you'll find a .json file and the .png file. We're just going to be using the .png file. And now you're going to be in this grid where you have the diamond sword, and it's a, um, 16 by 16 grid, so you can draw in whatever that is, it doesn't work. So, we're let's just make something that isn't like, I'm not going to go into like complete detail, like really go into detail, so let's like make something extremely weird, just terrible, absolutely terrible. It doesn't need to be very, very weird, but yeah, there, th th that's good enough. So now we're going to click save, and here we're going to have this. Now, I... You're going to want to right click this and click save image as. When you click save image as, you're going to just, you, for now, you should just save it in your downloads folder. So just save it in your downloads folder. Now's the part where you're going to go into your files. So on your keyboard, you're going to want to click the Windows key and R. This will open this little tab right there right down here, and you're going to just want to put in percentage app data percentage. When you click enter or OK, it should open your your app data folder. It'll have all your app data in there, and mainly we're just going to want to go to the .minecraft folder. So, it's on there. Now, there's all of these folders usually, and you're going to just want to go into one folder, resource packs. Now in here is all the resource packs, so if you make your resource pack and then you go to Minecraft, it's going to show up in here. So click new folder and you can name it whatever you want. And then inside this, I like doing this because it's easier. You can right click it and you can click create shortcut. And then you can move the shortcut into your downloads folder because then you have a shortcut. Anyways, now inside of this folder, we're going to make two files. We're going to make a folder called assets, and we're going to make a text document called pack.mcmeta. So we're going to want to replace it from txt to mcmeta, and you're going to want to click yes. And if you haven't done this before, you're going to want to right click this and click open with. And usually, I like using notepad because it's basic and simple and you should always be having it so you don't need to have it specific. Inside pack.mc meta, you're going to want to paste in what I have in the description. Here. And this is from my old tutorial. And keep in mind that you need to change the pack format if you want this. You need to keep the pack format to 7 because we're in 1.17 now. You can change this part to whatever you want. And yeah. You can click save, and that's it. Now we need to go into the assets folder and create a couple of folders. And make sure to keep mine on this. This part's going to be a bit confusing. It's going to go left and right, left and right. So, folder, Minecraft. Inside this folder, Optifine. Inside the folder, Optifine, create a folder called CIT. And inside of CIT is where we're going to be keeping everything else. So, I like, keep in mind, this is... This is optional. 
you can make folders to organize your items. Like, you can have swords, right? You can have maybe axes, right? Like, you can just keep them. You don't have to actually do this. You can keep everything in just a CIT folder, but I recommend using... I recommend using these folders because it's just better, right? But anyways, I'm going to just make a folder, right? And then inside this folder is where we're going to be doing everything, right? So, first, we're going to need our folder. I mean, not our folder. I mean, we're going to need the image that we downloaded. So, I'm just going to copy it. I'm actually, I'm going to drag it into my shortcut and now to my shortcut so we're just gonna move it all the way into CIT. This might take a while but it's fine. And then into the source file. Now we have this and then we have one more file to create and we should be basically done. So make a new text document and instead of having a .txt you're gonna want to put whatever your file name is so whatever in this case and then dot properties you need to have it as dot properties not txt now you need to click yes and we have the dot properties inside this folder you're going to put what i have inside of here which is this so the type is item and then you need to put in the type of item that's being placed right now so we're replacing the diamond sword in minecraft so put in diamond underscore sword and the texture place so your item texture is equal to replacing item texture this might be confusing but you're just going to put whatever your file name is to the replacing file name we're replacing the diamond sword we need to put the diamond sword's texture in, which is diamond underscore sword this will vary on what item you're changing here next is mbt.display name equals ipadder here is where you need to put it in. Make sure these are not where you're supposed to put quotes or anything. These you need to keep. The text goes in here. You can name it whatever you want, and I'll just call it whatever I need to call it. Now, this should be it. Once you click save, you're going to exit this. Next, go back into Minecraft for a second. And you're going to want to go into your resource packs. Now, you're going to find your resource pack's name, which is this right here. You'll see it has our pack on C meta, and we're going to put it on. Once we have it on, you can go and test if this will work. So, we're going to get a diamond sword, and we're going to name it whatever we need this. Which, uh, not that. And there you go. Right here, this is this is the item that we created. It's absolutely disgusting, but <laughs> keep in mind that you will need the latest the latest version of Optifine to do this. You can also use Lunar Client and other types of clients that support Optifine because Lunar Client is a client that like has Optifine in it as well. So you can have anything as long as it's Optifine, and this will work. So I hope this helped you in whatever you're trying to do, and I hope you have a good night.